Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to download APK installer files that can be sideloaded on any Android device. Now there are many different reasons that you might want to do this. Maybe you don't like signing into a Google account to use your Android device or maybe you're trying to get around region or device restrictions. But whatever your reason, downloading APKs is now incredibly easy thanks to a cross-platform utility called Raccoon. It was created by the development team at Onyx Bits, and the software is compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac machines. To get started, head to onyxbits.de slash raccoon from any web browser. Once you're here, scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the download link for your respective operating system. For Linux and Mac users, there's a JAR file available, but this will require that you have the full Java SDK installed on your computer beforehand. For Windows users, it's simple. Just click the download button for the .exe file. Then when the file is saved to your device, head to your downloads folder and launch it. You may have to provide administrator login credentials or verify that you'd like to run this file. So take care of that, then the program should launch. From here, the first step is to log into your Google account. This doesn't have to be the same one you're using on your Android device, so just any Google account should do. It also has a field that you can use to enter your device ID, but that's not required. So let me log into my account real quick and I'll get right back with you. Now from Raccoon's main menu here, it's really simple to download an APK. Just use this search menu at the top of the screen to search for the app you want to download. Raccoon will then search the Google Play Store, and the results include links to app descriptions, permissions, and the App's Play Store page. When you're ready, click the download button to grab a copy of the APK. This part will take a few seconds, but when it's done, the APK will be saved to your computer. The file will be stored in a folder named Raccoon, but its location may vary depending on your operating system. So to make things easier, I'd suggest searching your computer for the word Raccoon, then opening the associated folder. From here, head to Archives, then Default, then APK Storage, and you'll find your APK. At this point, all you have to do is transfer the file over to your Android device to install it. Installation is incredibly easy too. Just make sure Unknown Sources is enabled in your phone's settings under Security, then open the APK with any file manager. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!